That phone hacking scandal in Britain jumped back into the headlines today. A four-year-old letter has surfaced, and it raises new questions about who in the Murdoch empire knew what. Mark Phillips in London has the letter. The news of the world newspaper is gone, closed down, a casualty of its phone hacking culture. But the scandal it left behind was given new life today. The latest bombshell comes from the only reporter at the paper who has actually gone to jail for phone hacking. Clive Goodman served a four-month sentence after admitting he had listened to conversations involving Britain's royal family. The paper said he was a rogue reporter acting alone. But now a letter he wrote to his bosses at the time has been released in which he claims that phone hacking was widely discussed in the daily editorial conference until explicit reference to it was banned by the editor. The editor was Andy Coulson, the man Prime Minister David Cameron later hired to run his press office. Coulson has always denied any knowledge of the hacking. I never condone the use of phone hacking, and nor do I have any recollection of incidences where phone hacking took place. But that denial now becomes more difficult. Somebody's lying. And the version of events given by the News of the World's owners, the Murdoch family, is also being questioned. James Murdoch, too, claims he knew nothing. I have no knowledge, and there is no uh, evidence uh, uh, that, uh, that, that, I, that, I'm, that I'm aware of. But the younger Murdoch will likely be called before the parliamentary committee again to explain discrepancies between what he claims he knew and what others say he knew. In his letter, the News of the World reporter says that he was promised he'd get his job back if he didn't implicate anybody else in the Murdoch empire. So he kept quiet and took one for the team. The job promise was never kept. As for not implicating anybody else, it's too late for that. Mark Phillips, CBS News, London.